If local ingredients are an important part of your meal, Traverse City has the perfect restaurant for you. Not only does Harvest use local ingredients, the restaurant combines them in some pretty unique ways. 9 and 10 Jenny Bushell takes you inside the kitchen tonight. What was once a wandering grub hub has sprouted additional permanent roots in downtown Traverse City. Back in 2012, food truck roaming harvest sparked the original love affair between street food and the north. Now their brick and mortar restaurant goes by harvest. Owner chef Simon Joseph opened the spot in 2014, attracting loyal and new bellies with one reputation, locally focused fare. At Harvest, they call it cultivating American comfort food. What drives our menu is twofold. A, what we want to eat, what I want to eat, or any of the other cooks in the back, or, or any of our staff for that matter, uh, has an idea about something and we run with it. The second one is, is how much of that can we source locally. The menu has three sections, street food favorites, snacks, and the ever-changing options called Here Today, Gone Tomorrow. And here today are the potato pea samosas. We have obviously some local potatoes, peas, uh, a lot of great Indian flavors, um, and it's a real typical street food. Um, it's, it's probably the most popular street food snack in India. Vegetable shortening, flour, water, and salt make up the simple dough that pockets the potato filling. It needs to rest for just a minute. What that does is relaxes the gluten so that we can roll it out very, very thin. If we tried to roll this one right now, it would probably fight us a little bit. So we're going to go with the one that I did a few minutes ago. People need to relax. Dough needs to relax. Everyone needs a break. Just relax, people. Once everyone's well rested, the dough is stuffed with a starchy filling of potatoes, green peas, and spices. The samosas are gently seeped into a bath of Michigan soybean oil until they cook to a crispy perfection. And while you're waiting... You know, it's freezing outside. This feels wonderful, though, if I stand with my back or to my front. Feels good. The golden pillows are removed from the oil and topped with the day's chutneys. My favorite was the mint. May I? Sure. Lots of mint. The mint pops. They top it off with a little more cilantro, and that's a samosa. While Simon promises he'd order any of the 11, 12, or 13 menu items, his favorite is the old number 12 hash. I really love that. This, we make our own sausage for it. It's a ginger sage sausage, real simple pork sausage uh, with the root vegetables and the fried egg. That's very comfortable to me. With only 20 seats for dining, Harvest keeps its look as simple and playful as its menu. You can find the pint-sized place tucked in the alley between Front and State Streets, just behind Union's lineup of watering holes. Yeah, it's a great place to have a conversation, but maybe not a long one. <laughs> We're wrapping up our time at Harvest with these potato and pea samosas. We have jalapeno chutney on one, mint chutney on the other. Now these guys are on the Here Today, Gone Tomorrow menu, a.k.a. get them while you can. Harvest is open Tuesday and Wednesday, 11 to 3, Thursday through Saturday, 11 to 9, and Sunday brunch, 9 to 2. For 9 and 10 News, I'm Jenny Bouchelle. I'll see you next week when we wander inside another kitchen. Mm.